This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Charlie Thrower says, Mr. Pritchard, can you explain how Dr. Tom became a doctor? Yes. Well, see, there was, um, this medical school. All right. And they had a pharmacy and there was a little mix up in the pharmacy and they needed a doctor and Tom was able to step in and all that happened. Do you know, uh, I mean, the, yeah, the real story is too, um, too crazy to tell, but I'll try and tell it in a nice way as far as how Tom became a doctor. There was a match in Continental in Alabama. Okay. All right. Southeastern uh, wrestling there. I already like it. And the guys, they had a guy that was going to be in the corner to be their corner man. And they put this guy on television. Well, when they put the gentleman on television, it um, sparked some authorities of some sort who might have been looking for the guy that they had put on television. And when the authorities came calling to talk to this gentleman, that gentleman disappeared, and now they needed a corner man. And so they used Tom, and Tom explained that, you know, that he was a doctor, but there was just a little mix up at the pharmacy with, with his, and they lost his certificate in the mail and Tom became Dr. Tom because he became the corner man uh, for that match. And then the moniker just stuck from there. Fun story. Appreciate you sharing that. Uh huh. Christopher I Wheeler did it as best I could without <laughs> implementing too many people. Uh, Christopher Wheeler says, if you could have one wrestler from the old territory days added to the current roster, who would it be? And why, of course, in their prime, not you know, passed away or old Gene Hernandez. Yeah. That's such a great answer. You think he would have, uh, he would have worked well today with today's product. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think Gino would have worked frankly in, in pretty much any era. He was that good and that adaptable. Here's one from, uh, JM Wagner. If Bret Hart would have shown up at WrestleMania 22, what do you think the possibility of him doing a run in during the Shawn Michaels, Vince McMahon match could have been like Roddy Piper did during WrestleMania 19 for Hogan and Vince. That could have been interesting if he would have actually attended. Yeah. That was the one where Brett came in and either got inducted in the hall of fame That's or, right. or we did Stu. That was when we inducted Brett, right? Yes. Detroit? Yes. Okay. Um, it would have been great. Would love to have been able to do it. And I know Brett had other commitments that Brett couldn't stay. So it was, uh, unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know if Brett was at, at the right place in his life that he would have wanted to do something like that. At that time, there was still a little bit more healing to go. And there was, uh, that was the first step and there were baby steps to get beyond that, but that would have been cool as shit. And Piper was something that, um, was a last minute. Nobody knew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I made a phone call and said, Hey Vince, man, come on. We're in Seattle. It's Portland is right there. And two biggest rivals, you know, Hogan and Piper. What if type thing? And he said, well, see what Roddy's doing. And it went from a phone call to Roddy. What are you doing? Hey, would you like to do this to, can you be here tomorrow? And Roddy drove in from Portland, met him downstairs in the loading dock. Um, Tom and I put a, like a hoodie on him and walked him up to his room and locked him in his room. And same thing. We, Went up, got him in his room, put the hoodie on him, got him into the building. People thought Roddy was just there to say hello. It's uh, that was pretty cool. It's such a cool idea to think about Sean showing up at WrestleMania 22. I do want to mention you mistakenly said Detroit. That show was actually in Chicago at the All State Arena. In Chicago, but, that's right. But still, that is when Brett was the headliner, and I know they all run together. But I just know we'll get tweets, so I'm trying to preemptively. I misspoke, that. folks. Sorry, I'm getting older now. I misspeak sometimes. Hey, I'm always right, but sometimes I misspeak. Boy, I, that sounds like my dad right there. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.